What's going on guys, my name is Darian, and in this video we're gonna talk about four ways to upskill for jobs in IT in 2021. The first way is gonna be pretty straightforward. A lot of people are probably already familiar with this, which is getting certifications. So this is one that I'm familiar with. Last August in 2020, I actually took the Azure AZ900 Fundamentals exam and I was actually given my first Microsoft certification. And so that was a great experience because the first time I took it, I actually failed and I made a video about that. So I'll link it somewhere up here. Essentially studying for these exams and passing certifications really shows that you have a really good understanding of whatever product platform or service that you're getting certified in because they're very specific to that company or that platform or that cloud service provider and there's a lot of content in these exams so these certifications are actually very very challenging and very difficult like i said i failed the first time and they're usually pretty affordable which is another thing that i like about certifications for my microsoft exam i actually paid i think 100 bucks to take it so even the first time when i failed it and then taking it the second time when i passed it cost me 200 bucks total which is a lot cheaper than some online courses definitely college classes and things like that so just something to keep in mind that these certifications actually go a really long way and you can get certified in a huge range of things outside of just cloud service providers you guys can get certified in a lot of other areas including cybersecurity, project management scrum there's a lot of different ways and areas to get certified in so just make sure that you guys go do your own research about what career fields you want to go into what jobs actually fit your personality your role your experience your background and then consider going the certification route because like i said that's just a very straightforward path to being able to show an employer that you actually have the skills, the experience, and the knowledge to make the transition into a new job title or a new job role. So certifications is gonna be my first recommendation for how to upskill for an IT job in 2021. All right, the second way is also pretty familiar, which is gonna be online courses. So I know you guys have probably already started doing this yourselves. So I won't waste a ton of time on online courses. Obviously, I know you guys are already familiar with that, but you know, YouTube, LinkedIn Learning, Pluralsight, Udemy, whatever you guys wanna use, I talk about these learning platforms all the time online. My biggest recommendation is just to make sure that you guys find content creators online that are already creating free content in whatever area you guys are interested in going into. And then make sure that you kind of vibe with their personality or their content because that gives you a much better odds of finishing the course, whatever it is, once you pay them for it. Because a lot of times I'm guilty of this too. I'll buy a course and I won't make it all the way through the course. And I just think that when you guys are trying to use these courses to actually get experience for a new job, you definitely need to be learning pretty much everything in the course and make sure you just go through it because you're gonna learn the way that that creator, that course creator, content creator, you're gonna learn the way that they are teaching. So you're gonna learn the tools that they learn, the methods and processes that they know, but it's all only gonna be one way of exposing you to doing whatever that thing is. Especially if you're trying to get a new job and you're trying to leverage you know, half of the videos you've learned from a course and you're trying to turn that into a conversation at a job interview, it's just not gonna go very well. So make sure you guys do some thorough research before you just jump in and buy any random course online on Udemy or anything like that. I would highly recommend vetting the person creating the course and make sure that what they're teaching is still relevant, up to date, and that it comes from professional experience. And they're not just somebody who's out there and they've never worked the actual professional job and they're just teaching whatever they feel like is important. So those are the things I think you guys should just keep in mind when you're taking online courses, but I still think that they're a great way to get the experience and exposure you need to upskill for a new job in IT in 2021. Number three is going to be boot camps. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, we talk about boot camps here in the channel a lot. I went to a coded boot camp back in 2018 for anybody who doesn't know. But there are plenty of other boot camps that can be taken now. There are so many. I know some boot camps offer boot camps in like Scrum Master stuff. I've seen boot camps for cybersecurity. I've seen boot camps for DevOps. I've seen boot camps for coding. I've seen boot camps for business analysts and things like that. So there's plenty of different boot camps out there for different roles in IT. Now the thing is, I would again, like I said with the online courses, vet the boot camps. I cannot stress that enough. Vet the boot camps. All right. So go read reviews of other people who have taken that boot camp. Make sure you do thorough, thorough research on the job market. Also, check their curriculum. Try to get a copy of the curriculum for that boot camp and check that against the job market where you are and make sure that the things they're teaching, the skills you're going to learn are going to be relevant in the job market where you're at before you sign up and pay 
10, 14, 15, 20 thousand dollars for any of these boot camps is a great way to kind of skirt around going to school or getting a degree or paying that cost to break into IT. But at the same time, it's a very, very expensive route to go if you make the wrong mistake or you pick the wrong boot camp or if you just don't do your research. So I'm definitely suggesting and recommending that you guys grab the curriculum from the boot camp once you kind of do your research and decide what role you want to go into and you find a boot camp or something like that that's teaching that actually make sure that it lines up with where you guys are looking to get a job and the things that they're looking for on job applications so to give you a quick example of this i went to a coding boot camp in java here in detroit where we do a lot of enterprise development so a lot of jobs around here are looking for either java or c sharp experience and if you're a front-end developer here react is probably going to be like the most hot framework that you can learn to get hired for where I'm at in Michigan. So if I went to a boot camp that taught me Ruby on Rails or PHP or something like that, that wouldn't have helped me. No matter how much I learned how to code or I built a full stack app in that boot camp, that wouldn't have helped me get a job here in my job market in Michigan. Okay, because a lot of jobs here aren't hiring for Ruby on Rails and Node or PHP and things like that where I am. That doesn't mean that people aren't getting hired for those skills, guys, but it just means that my job market, unless I plan on moving, and this was all before coronavirus, so now with things being remote, it might not be as bad. But the point is that jobs are not agnostic. They don't all use the same tools. They don't use the same languages. In fact, every job is very, very, very different. So you need to just make sure that whatever you're learning for whichever of these roles you're going out for you need to make sure that the curriculum whether it's an online course or a boot camp it doesn't matter what it is you need to make sure that that is actually lining up with the jobs that are in your area for that role so the last one is just going to be get experience especially on projects or just get project experience guys and i say that across the board no matter what role that we're talking about right here project manager scrum master developer qa uh cyber security it does not matter you need project experience and you need project experience with other people specifically so just going off and building projects on your own that is great and that's an absolute must and i highly recommend you do that but that is not enough and i want to stress that even more it's not enough to just work by yourself guys because that's not how a job is any of these roles that we're talking about in it they're all going to be collaborative they're all going to expect you to have soft skills know how to talk to people and they're going to expect that you've already worked in an environment with other people whether that's troubleshooting problems just communicating team stand-ups uh scrum principles all those things are going to pretty much overlap in all these different roles when you're talking about it doing the initial footwork is one thing so getting that certification taking that online course going to that boot camp those are all preliminary things you need to do just to gain the knowledge that you'll need to start getting into the it world but then from there guys you're going to need to spend the time or put the time in to create your own projects see them all the way through and then also work on other things work on projects with other people like your friends or other people who are learning if you have that sort of community or you can join projects that are already in flight online like open source projects where you can just jump in play a role and pretty much start getting that experience in that role with an open source project online but like i said guys you need to be able to speak towards real world applications of what you have learned from the certification or from the boot camp or from the online courses so yeah guys those are my four ways that you can upskill for a job in it in 2021 i really hope this helps you guys let me know down in the comment section if this was helpful or any other tips you guys might have or what you've done what journey you've taken to get your first job in it so my name is darian guys and if you're into tech or entrepreneurship make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that's all we talk about here on this channel if you guys want more awesome content just about like productivity business entrepreneurship life Check out my newsletter, which is in the description box down below. I write once a week. I publish a newsletter, which is so dope on productivity or just things I learned that I reflected on from that week. Not always tech related, but just a really good look at kind of my personal and writing side. So if you guys are into that, getting that in your inbox each week, check it out completely for free in the description box down below. There's also my free intro to coding bootcamp course down there. So check that out. It has everything in there I wish I knew before I went to coding bootcamp and it only costs your email address. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you for tuning in. My name is Darian. This is Darian the Dev. I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.